Good morning. It is Saturday. I think it's Saturday, July 9th. Um, I also think it's day 17. Um, I got my stuff packed up. Uh, I got to put on dry shoes this morning and dry socks, even though it rained like crazy last night. I got in before everything got soaked. Um, I mean, I have to walk through this tall grass. So my feet are going to be wet immediately, but then I think I got to climb up and over that. So I'm going to have another big climb today and get up over 8,300. I might even get higher than I got yesterday. Yesterday, I think it was 83, 8,400 or something. Um, I think, I think that's the biggest climb of the day. And then I get to make my way to Lewis and Clark Pass. Weehee! Um, and then, then I think I get to Rogers Pass or something. I don't know. I'd really like to make 20 plus miles today, uh, which I wanted to do yesterday too, but um, yesterday I had two big climbs and um, the altitude is still kicking my butt. I, once I get up and I, I start like like really trying to push myself, I, I feel my heart do, 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 do. and um, I just start walking in like slow motion. But my little mantra that I say in those moments is I don't have to go fast, I just have to go forward. So <laughs> that's, that's how I'm rolling right now. Um, so let me get up over this mountain and uh, we'll get some views from the top. And uh, once I get up there, that's where I plan on having my morning coffee. Whee! I'm almost to my coffee spot. I want to get to the highest point of the day, which should be up here ahead. I gotta climb a few hundred more feet. All right, I'm at about 8,200 feet. I'm just gonna come up here just past these pines. And I'll sit down and take my fleece off. I went from a cold, chilly valley to a hot, sunny mountaintop. And um, I'm gonna sit down and drink some coffee. Woohoo! Oh, so I'm up over 8,200 feet now. Climbed up a little higher in the mountain just to suck in this view. And uh, it's glorious. All my fancy coffee's gone. I'm down to Folgers. But Folgers at altitude with the view turns out to be pretty good. Even cold. Surprisingly, very good. <laughs> what a morning. <sighs> oh, wow. And like I'm looking way in the distance and I can see the trail going up over some mountains on some ridges. Oh, it's going to be a fun, fun, probably very hard hike today. Even though I'm at my highest point now, I, I'm just going to be going up and down, up and down, up and down. You know, like I'm walking through the mountains. One last look-see before I start hiking. You know, it's up here like crazy are black flies, which I did not anticipate. They must, um just be hatching now or something because uh, there are tons of them. So I'm going to hike and try to get away from them. Once again, having a hard time hiking because everything's so pretty. I just want to keep taking pictures, but I really want to get some miles today. So I probably should focus and push it a little bit. <laughs> How cool is this? The trail goes up and over there, then kind of along that ridge there. And I think I'll start heading back down a little bit. Of course, before I start going back up, but man, what a cool place to hike. <laughs> 
And then I look over to my left and there's this. That's nice. One of the things I really love about this trail, because it's just so big, is like I'm on this mountain hiking and I just like happen to look up at this, well, that, that mountain behind me, whatever. And uh, I could see the trail like over there. So it's like, I'm gonna go down into this valley, which yuck, and then I gotta go back up. But it's really cool to like, just see that trail so far away and to know like in a little bit, I'm gonna be over there looking back at this trail. The scope of this trail is pretty huge. I mean, I guess all the three big long trails are pretty huge, you know, over 2,000 miles. It's a big trail, it's a lot of footsteps. CDT, well, now I know I'm on the right trail. All right, it's my second big climb of the day. Man, you would think after being out here for 16, 17 days, I'd just be a machine running up these mountains, but let's tell you, it's still pretty darn tough. looking back on the trail and uh, I think way in the distance I see another hiker coming behind me. I'm sure it's another one of these young bucks who's gonna blow by me. <laughs> all right that was my third big climb of the day. All before noon. First five miles like just pretty intense. But man is it beautiful. Now I've got about six miles or so to get to um, Lewis and Clark Pass. Um, I don't know why I think that's cool, but I do. Uh, so I'll keep moving on here. Snow. I thought I was done with you. I am up here. Oof, that would really be a bummer to blow off this thing. Wow. Four. I see a road down there and some structures way off in the distance. Whew. All right, I am at Lewis and Clark Pass where Captain Meriwether Lewis on his return journey um, crossed this continental divide area on July 7th and I think the year was 1806. That's what the sign said. That's rather exciting. Makes me feel like I'm doing big things. All right, so I've been out of water for a while. I really hope it. I think I gotta go one more climb and then uh, when I come down, there should be a spring. So I am parched. Not easy. Up and over, I have some water. I'm so thirsty. I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. I wonder if that's why I'm so tired. I'm getting a little dehydrated. Almost there.
finally at the top of Green Mountain. I just gotta get up and over this bad boy. Oh, I accidentally just walked by the water source. And unfortunately, it's way back here. Ugh. I'm so tired and thirsty. I can't believe I didn't double check that. What an idiot. All right. The water, I feel much better. Once again, a storm is rolling in. Um, Judging by the sky, it looks like I'll be stopping. I probably should pick up my pace. It's hard to see, but right there, it's a little yurt. Um, and due to the weather and thunderstorm, I'm going to stop there. Once again, I've kind of, I think I'm going to end up with 16 or 17 miles, but I really have been hoping to get 20 or 20 plus, but this weather has been making it tricky. So to the yurt I go to see, but there is a very faint and complete rainbow out 